Hello friends, warm welcome in this video that is the metal activated enzymes and metalloenzymes. Friends, more than a quarter of enzymes require cofactor. In a other language, this much amount of enzymes are depends on metal atoms for their full catalytic activity. Metal atoms usually exist as cations and often have more than one oxidation state as with ferrous Fe2 positive and ferric Fe3 positive. You should note that this positive charge can stabilize transition state by electrostatic interactions, giving one mechanism for catalysis by metals. However, irrespective of the oxidation state and charge carried, a metal ion can bind a particular number of groups, that is ligands, by accepting free electron pairs to form coordinate bonds in a specific orientation. Metal ions can be involved in enzyme catalysis in a variety of ways which are as follows. They may accept or donate electrons to activate electrophiles or nucleophiles even in neutral solution or they themselves may act as electrophiles. In the third type of way, they may mask nucleophiles to prevent unwanted side reactions or they may bring together enzymes and substrate by means of coordinate bonds, possibly causing strain to the substrate in the process. They may hold reacting groups in required three-dimensional orientation or the last way by which they can act is they may simply stabilize the catalytically active conformation of the enzyme. So by all these means metal ion can be involved in enzyme catalysis. Albert Milvan in 1917 pointed out that ternary complex found between an enzyme metal and substrate may be enzyme bridge complex that is MES. Substrate bridge complex that is ESM or metal bridge complex that is EMS. Basically, metal may involve by two ways and accordingly they are called as metal enzymes or metal activated enzymes. If the metal is tightly bound and written by the enzyme on even purification, then such enzymes are called as metal enzymes. On the contrary, metal activated enzymes binds less tightly to the enzymes and may separate during the purification procedures. Friends, metalloenzymes cannot form substrate bridge complex since the purified enzymes exist as a enzyme bound with the metal. On the contrary, metal activated enzymes can form all three types of ternary complexes. So now we will see how the various types of metal activates the various enzymes. First, the activation by alkali metal cations which involves sodium and potassium ions. Alkali metal cations bind only weakly to form a complexes with the enzymes. But K positive, the most abundant intracellular cation, is known to activate a great many enzymes, particularly those catalyzing phosphoryl transfer or elimination reactions. It appears that the role of K positive is largely to bind to negatively charged groups on an inactive form of the enzyme and cause a change in conformation to a more active form. However, in some cases it may also aid substrate binding. For example, muscle pyruvate kinase, which is a tetrameric enzyme which catalyzes the reaction phosphoenol pyruvate that is PEP in the presence of ADP and K positive ion or Mg or Mn2 positive ion converts into pyruvate plus ATP. This reaction has a requirement for alkali metal cations and for Mn2 positive or MgT positive, all of which bind in the region of an active site. Various studies indicate that the carboxyl group of phosphoenol pyruvates bind to the enzyme bound K positive, whereupon a conformational change takes place which facilitates the progress of a reaction via enzyme Mn2 positive PEP. Complex. It should be noteworthy that each subunit has an alpha beta barrel domain like that of the triosphosphate isomerase. The second group of metals are alkaline earth metal cations. Enzymes may be activated by alkaline earth metal cations like calcium and magnesium. Oxygen atoms are often involved in the bonds of both alkali metals and alkaline earth metal cations. Bonds of the latter being relatively strong. The divalent cations calcium 2 positive and Mg2 positive can form six coordinate bonds to produce a octahedral complex. Mg2 positive is accumulated by cells in exchange for transport of calcium 2 positive in the opposite direction. 
as might be expected therefore enzymes requiring calcium for activation are mainly extracellular ones for example the salivary or pancreatic alpha amylase the calcium appears to play a role in maintaining the structure required for catalytic activity a variety of intracellular enzymes require mg2 positive for activity and in most cases this requirement can be replaced in vitro by one for mn2 positive unlike mg2 positive mn2 positive is paramagnetic which enables the system to be more easily investigated and note that mn2 positive may in its own right be a component of metalloenzymes for example arginines where it stabilizes a reactive hydroxide ion ensuring that an activated nucleophile is aspartate 124 and aspartate 232 in each of the three subunits and has a catalytic interaction with aspartate 128 it has been shown that all possible types of ternary bridge complexes involving divalent cations can exist most kinases form esm complex where s is the reacting nucleotide let us consider as an example the reaction catalyzed by muscle creatine kinase that is creatine plus atp will convert into phosphocreatine plus adp plus proton the true substrate is in fact mg2 positive atp and the reaction proceeds via formation of a complex creatine enzyme atp mg positive complex medred coin and calix in 1971 showed that the divalent cations bind to the alpha and beta phosphate of the nucleotide but not to the terminal gamma phosphate which is transferred to creatine the cation helps in the orientation of the complex and may also assist in the breaking of the pyrophosphate bonds by withdrawing electrons from the beta phosphate the overall reaction has a random order rapid equilibrium kinetic mechanism and the dead end complex may be formed identification of some of these for example enzyme adp mn2 positive complex help in elucidation of the mechanism of reaction in contrast the reaction catalyzed by pyruvate kinase involves a cyclic metal bridge complex metal bridge complexes are found with many enzymes which use pyruvate or phosphenyl pyruvate as a substrate the another example is enolase which catalyzes the reaction phosphenyl pyruvate plus water will convert into 2 phospho glycerate or phosphenyl pyruvate enolase is a dimeric enzyme 2 mg2 positive ions being required to stabilize the active dimer a further 2 mg2 positive ions are required if each of the two active sites binds a substrate thomas novak albert milven and kelix in 1973 demonstrated that the enzyme bound cations probably binds to water forming a coordinated hydroxyl group which can attack the phosphoenol pyruvate a few enzymes for example e coli glutamine ammonia ligase or glutamine synthetase have a mechanism involving an enzyme bridge complex here the divalent cations presumably has a purely structural role the transition metal cations also involves in the activation of these enzymes these metals include copper zinc magnesium iron and cobalt transition metal ions bind to enzymes much more strongly than the metal ions discussed earlier and usually form metalloenzymes this makes their involvement in enzyme catalysis relatively easy investigate they are found in only trace amounts in living organism for larger amounts they can be toxic for example the trace metal molybdenum and iron are found in nitric oxide reductases the nitrogen activating complex of nitrogen fixing bacteria efe is a component of hemoglobin which is a oxygen carrying hemoprotein of the erythrocytes of vertebrates another trace metal cobalt is found in vitamin b12 the superoxide dismutase contains copper and zinc metals whereas carboxypeptidase a possesses only zinc now we will consider in a little more detail the examples of copper and zinc metalloenzymes the first example is of superoxide dismutase superoxide dismutase is a copper metalloenzymes with an extensive beta pleated sheet region it catalyzes the removal of the highly reactive 
डिस्ट्रक्टिव ओटोनिगेटिव आयंस पजेजिंग फ्री रेडिकल प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम ऑक्सीजन बाय वैरायटी ऑफ रिएक्शंस एंड बाय ई रेडिएशंस इरविन फ्रिडोविच एंड कलीग्स इन 1969 डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड दैट डिस्म्यूटेज रिएक्शन प्रोसेस्स आर शोन हियर बोवाइन इरिथ्रोसाइट सुपरऑक्साइड डिस्म्यूटेज इज अ डाइमेरिक प्रोटीन कंटेनिंग टू सीयू2 पॉजिटिव आयंस एंड टू जेडएन2 पॉजिटिव आयंस द जेडएन2 पॉजिटिव आयंस अपीयर टू हैव अ स्ट्रक्चरल रादर देन ए catalytic rule while the cu2 positive ions are involved in the reaction sequence as shown here in contrast to the superoxide dismutase zn2 positive has a catalytic role in the reaction catalyzed by carboxypeptidase a where the c terminal amino acid of a polypeptide is removed provided it has a non polar side chain carboxypeptidase a from bovine pancreas is a monomeric enzyme which contains one atom of a zinc with a helical regions arranged around a core consisting of eight stranded mixed beta pleated sheets with a right handed twist the x-ray crystallography studies and the determination of complete amino acid sequence reveals that the active site contains the coordinated zn2 positive ions bound to histidine 69 glutamate 72 histidine 196 and water as well as grew to accommodate the polypeptide substrate and hydrophobic pocket for binding the side chains of the c terminal amino acid the terminal carboxyl group of the substrate forms a electrostatic interaction with the arginine 145 during the reaction the carbonyl oxygen of the peptide bond being hydrolyzed replaces the water molecules bound to zn2 positive the metal ion probably facilitates cleavage of the peptide bond by withdrawing electrons from this carbonyl group but valley in 1964 proposed a general mechanism for the reactions which involved acid and base groups of the enzyme x-ray diffraction studies have shown that tyrosine 248 is located in a such position in the enzyme substrate complex that it could donate a proton to nitrogen of the peptide bond being hydrolyzed and there is also evidence that the carboxyl group of a glutamate 270 acts as a general base catalyst to make the attacking water molecule nucleophilic however side directed mutagenesis experiments by stephen gardel and kalix in 1984 demonstrated tyrosine 248 was replaced by phenylalanine without affecting catalytic activity have suggested that this tyrosine residue may simply have a binding function thus the reaction appears in all like as shown in this figure where r double prime is the side chain of the c terminal amino acid and r prime represents the rest of the peptide molecule the x ray diffraction studies have also shown that substrate binding results in arginine 145 glutamate 270 and especially tyrosine 248 moving to a new positions close to the substrate forcing water molecules out of the active site and thus creating a hydrophobic environment the substrate is so tightly enclosed that it would not have been able to get into this position but for the mechanism of the conformational change so these are the some of the examples of enzymes which are activated by metals or maybe metalloenzymes thank you